Send for my love in me, DJ. Blessings and blessings to follow me. Yeah. Mama, happy birthday, man. Papa, happy birthday. Uh, you know, in your home, we wish her too. So, I know we wish you too. Uh, ah, happy birthday. Ah. Mama, you've worked. Oh. Ah, you've worked, you've worked. I was listening to one testimony online when one guy said he was smoking. And he woke from his sawam after smoking weed towards Winnie Bat. He no no say the waka. <laughs> so, but when you met him, the life changed. He stopped smoking. I said, thank God. Because, Mama, I wish you did not meet that guy. That guy can smoke and walk to Russia. He will not know. <laughs> you smoke weed and walk from. <clears throat> ah, that guy is a worker. Ah, mama, you've worked. You've worked. 60 years now, you've worked. Your, your work and papa work is speaking. When I see MOG with pink lip, I know that no, you are doing well. Uh, you've, you've really worked. I was, I was sitting there when the starter was coming. And me and uh, we were just discussing about the starter. I said, no, ah, this is a real celebration. You know, we, we are not used to all these type of salad starters and soup. It's plantain chips and granite. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, you people, you know, you, you know, you know. This is plantain chips and granite. But this one that you are giving us soup, you drink soup as if it's communion. <laughs> then they bring salad, then you eat, they will not say. So I was not asking the guy, no, this is not the main, this is not the main dish. I said, wow. When I went there on the queue, they were not saying anything you want, you can point, pick. <laughs> the mistake I did was, I was behind Reverend Ibrahim Lanti. The wife was at my back. He took one spoon. I wanted to take two. I said, let me respect all your take one, Maboka. <laughs> but God, the Lord will bless Pastor Kofais. Ah, Mama, if you see what the Kofais they eat, ah, no, you are anointing. Go fight, take everything. He got to one place. He said, What is this? The woman said, You don't know. He said, Just add it. I will not die. <laughs> he said, Just add, just add. <laughs> ah, papa, the papa. Papa, <laughs> your cake did not turn. Oh. Mama won't turn. <laughs> papa, your sister had made the cake. There one place. He said, Mama won't turn. We are kind of bad. Wow, ah, women, no, no, there's something about women, no. If you check scripture deeply, you know that, no, there's something about women. Is that from the Bible? Celebrated daddy, 60 years, no cake ton, but mama, he owned the ton. Gave us that out three times, daddy, your own, was one. It was one. But mama, oh, God, they give us, give us. Is that that from the Bible? Because if you check history, when God made Adam and Eve, you know, when Eve ate the apple, God was sleeping. <laughs> the moment Eve gave Adam, Adam just bite one, God appeared. Adam, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? It was also recorded in the Bible too. God sent the angels to go to the angel to go and meet a man and told the man that. I think so the wife will give birth. Ah, the man said, how can this thing happen? The man doubt God. God said, for this thing, I think you will deaf, you will blind, one more thing. Deaf. <laughs> Mama, thank you. Mama, you know what you don't think? You will be dumb. <laughs> that you see, oh, man. Oh. That same angel went to meet Mary. Said Mary, you will get pregnant. Mary said, How can this thing happen? When I'm a person, he doubts. But God said, You will see it. <laughs> women, you see the power of women? The act, the act, the act, the act of a woman. Look at what happened. You can't touch the act. When man touch the act, the man die. Man die. Why? Because you cannot touch God's things, properties by heart. But Jesus, a woman broke protocol. Went to wash Jesus' feet 
with her tears and use her leg to clean. The agents want to stop her. She said, no, leave her. When I came, we didn't do it. Leave her. She said, woman, leave her. Leave her. There's something special about women. It's still in the Bible. Women? No. And one thing I love about, about women is when, when, we are, when men are celebrating, you don't add them. But when they are celebrating their home, it's when two or three are gathered. That's when me and you see when uh, Omar Kisto was was talking, he said we cannot celebrate you without celebrating your husband. You have you've done well. I say, oh. I will just say, look at when the, the pastor was calling. He said, I'll call from this church, from Canada, from this. And you know, if you've traveled before, you understand that this thing called traveling. It's not easy. Yeah. Oh, travel is not easy. All these pastors that are based in America, ask them. There is nothing in America. There is not. And Ghana is better than America. If you have your visa, give me, let me go and stay here. You will see what I'm telling you. That's nothing. When during age at 60, the daddy said, <laughs> But then he said, I will travel. I've told him, I've told him this story before. He said, I will travel. And I went to take advice from my friend that I've not traveled. First time going to UK, when you are praying for visa, don't just pray for the visa, pray to land. <laughs> Got my visa, went, you know. I know if you are going to the embassy, the white people, they ask you one funny question. How are you? Your document is not, where's your name? Where are you traveling to? Then you tell them, they will not give you how long do you want to stay back, they will stand. Oh, I never heard that English before, deportation on arrival. That means you will land, you will see UK, UK will see you, but you cannot enter the promised land. <laughs> God damn, ladies and gentlemen, I got to the embassy. When I landed, they were not checking passport again. Once they just see your passport, American passport, pa, citizen, enter, Ghana, pa. Nigeria, stand here. <laughs> when I hear Nigeria, stand here, I move back. I saw that you can go. I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> Let me know if my family wishes are follow me here. I cannot be there. Ghana, enter. America, enter. Nigeria, stand here. When I hear Nigeria, stand here. <laughs> I was the last person I went. There was a man at my back. The man is in Nigeria. I'm in Nigeria. I saw that go. He said, my brother, if you are not in a hurry, I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> Will we are there after how many? The man said, yes, who is coming? I said, okay, go. He said, you go. <laughs> I took a bold step of faith. Right. I called them. The man said, yes. Can I see your passport? I said, that's the problem, sir. Actually, I'm a Ghanaian. <laughs> but I don't know what happened. My passport changed to Nigerian passport. I said, I'm born. I'm a Ghanaian, but they gave it to me in Nigeria. So I'm mistaken. He said, sir, can I see your passport? Then I said, sir, why? He said, those are Nigerians, they cannot enter because of some reasons. I said, that reason cannot, because I'm an American. As we are talking, they just called woman of Aquaman. That is a, that man will not make heaven. They have not even called the man, the man just came straight. He said, yes, Master Ufri, I said, I'm a Ghanaian. He said, I know you're a Ghanaian. Ufri, I said, Ghana. He said, which part of Ghana? I said, Accra. He said, no, which region? I said, Kumasi. <laughs> the man said, which part of Kumasi? I said, I'll say, come. <laughs> he said, if you want to say, come, how do you say, come in tree? I said, you don't say, bra, you say, bla. Bla, it's all blue, blue. <laughs> He said, how do you call Jesus in Kumasi? I said, you don't say, Jesus. He said, Jesus. <laughs> oh, yes, he will say, you're a Ghanaian. Enter. Daddy, the man turned, look at the other man at my back. They have never asked the Nigerian guy. He said, Oh, no, I'm a Ghanaian. That is my brother. I said, It's not me and you. <laughs> fight your fight. They asked the man, Are you a Ghanaian? He said, Yes. Which part? He said, Kumasi. The only thing he heard was Kumasi. They said, Which part of Kumasi? He said, Spin test. <laughs> As I'm talking to you, he's here. Oh my God. I, I've come to. I've come to love, I've come to love Ghana and I have a request that I feel that on Mama's 60th birthday, 
it should be granted. I, I was happy when I said the Honorable uh, Minister so can take it to the President. Ghanaian people, you don't treat Nigerians like, I don't know, you don't see us like foreigners, and it's bad. You don't see Nigerians as foreigners, and I think it's not fair. When you see Liberians, you call them foreigners. You even give them a camp, Liberia camp. When you see Togolese, you call them foreigners, South Africans, foreigners. When you see Nigerians, we are Alatani and Nago. We don't deserve foreigners. And when you check history, Nigeria and Ghana, we have things in common. We are like twins. When you check right from date, God knows that's why Nigeria is a fatherland, Ghana is a motherland. <laughs> and I hate it when Ghana say, Nigerian people, you don't stay in your country. Why? Even our president is not staying there. What are we doing there? <laughs> our president is not there for him. If our president can run, who are we to stay there, the citizen? You know. But when you check history, Nigeria and Ghana, we are like twins. And I can prove it to you. Look at Nation Score. Daddy, do you know that if Nigeria qualify, Ghana will not qualify? If Ghana qualify, Nigeria will not We run shifts. <laughs> Let me take you back to issue if you've forgotten. Some few years ago, our president that is called Yaradwa was in power and office and he died in office and the vice called Good Luck took over. Let's come to Ghana. Just after that, the president of Ghana then, President Fifi Atamis died, the vice took over called Mahama. Am I correct? After four years in Nigeria, we said, good luck is not good. We are changing. We brought... <laughs> we brought Ware. Let's come to Ghana. After four years in Ghana, we said, no, we don't like Mahama. We brought Akufuado. Let's go back to Nigeria. After four years in Nigeria, we said, no, Ware cannot do just four years. We added four years, making it eight years. Let's come to Ghana. We said, no, Akufado cannot do four years. We gave him extra, eight years, twins. <laughs> Look at the nation's cup. When Nigeria go to final, Ghana will not go. When Ghana go, if, look, Daddy, do you know that during this African nation's cup, that's when I that, no, Ghana and Nigeria, they have something that they're not telling us. <laughs> Nigerians were playing, winning all their matches. Ghana was not winning anyone. <laughs> Ghana came home on Friday. Nigeria, we don't come on. We can't cash. On Sunday, for no reason, Nigeria just lose much. Why? Because they are twins. And are you aware that what is working in Ghana is working in Nigeria? But it's just that. In Ghana, your traffic lights work 24 7. In Nigeria, it work. But not all the time. In Ghana, red means stop, right? Green means go. Yellow means get ready to stop. That is light. But in Nigeria, green means go. Yellow means full speed. Red means danger. Run, no oh run. Me and my friend, we traveled to Nigeria for the first time. You know, and I was telling my friend that well, I was driving, and I put the traffic light, it was showing red, and I passed. The boy got angry. He said, no, you have to obey the traffic light. I said, my brother, no big Ghana with it, not Nigeria. Just follow me. He said, no, 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 no. There be, when you get to the light, obey, be a good citizen. I said, okay. Daddy, we went to the other light. We got there, it was red, we parked. 10 minutes, the light was not changing. <laughs> 20 minutes, the light was still red. After 30 minutes, he's those men that are selling the other. I said, Oh, God, you will not go. I said, No, we are waiting for it to show green. He said, My brother, it's only red that is working on. Go to where you are going to go to. <laughs> and there is something I love. There is something I love about Ghana also. It is, it is saying that the type of place you stay matters. There are some places you stay, demons don't press you. No, no, let's be frank. There are some places you stay, demons, like America, like this. America, they don't have, they don't have demons. No, ask pastors, now. Nah, ask pastors. Daddy, you go to America, daddy, the way you preach. There are no demons there. No, that is telling you. There are no demons. 
What American has this familiar spirit? <laughs> no, that is you know. You know. America they don't have people. It's familiar. You talk to them, they talk to you. <laughs> ah, American people, they don't stress you. You can, you can look at, I mean, the way that they preach in America, the way they preach it, it's different. Daddy can, you look, Daddy can be preaching in America and just. There's a demon in your body. Yes, you can go. I'm just gonna count one of five. You gotta go one, two, three, four, go. <laughs> American demon, they are less. What the it's a one man pizza, ice cream. You might just say, go. Go see demon, all right, go. Demon, demon, demon. The most useless demon on X is Kumasi demon. I don't know what is it to Kumasi demon. One pastor from the US went to Kumasi. He was preaching. They looked at the woman and said, Man, there's a demon in your body. Come. The demon is going to go now. I'm going to count one, five. The demon is going to go. One, two, three. Go. The woman stand. I said, Go. The woman stand. It's the host pastor that came to meet him. Demon, I'm a team brother. He doesn't understand English. He doesn't understand English. Then the father said, okay, so how do I say it? He said, you got to tell him, P.A. father said, is that sound? He said, yes. All right, demon, P.A. Demon stand, P.A. Demon stand. And the father said, like this, our demon here, they eat KK in food. They are KK demon, P.A. No, you use words. Is that the time? And they call one man. Pastor Mike, come. You know those Kumasi prophets, the lie wearing big suit that's like canopy. Obeku and Aronko. Pierre, 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 Timon. Me, come, let me see you. Good night. Yo, celebrate. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, I want to enjoy the fitness of DJ Paloma. Open house party for the next two minutes. After we just sell for the floor, two minutes, and then we do the kick cutting. And then the music for DJ Paloma. <laughs>